Yes, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the organizing committee and especially uh, Costas Pargas for the kind invitation. Um, I, I will present uh, a case. Um, sorry. I'll present a case which is not something special, but I think it is interesting. In our center, we had um, a 70 years old lady. Uh, she had um, um, an operation in uh, 2012 uh, when uh, the surgeons they gave her a lima to the LED and they replaced uh, the aortic valve, valve uh, with uh, because of aortic stenosis with the Sorin solo free free solo valve uh, a biological valve uh, from other situations. Uh, she was uh, under um, drug uh, uh, medication uh, for hypertension, hypothyroidism, and uh, she was uh, with a problem with uh, her uh, um, uh, kidney disease. And uh, then she came back with uh, aortic stenosis. Uh, the lady, she was referred to us uh, from uh, um, a peripheral hospital uh, <clears throat> and uh, we performed the coronary angiography and uh, this uh, gave us uh, the information that the Lima was patent. Uh, uh, she was having diffuse disease uh, which was already known from the first uh, case, I mean uh, the first operation before the first operation. So uh, they performed a stress echo with no ischemia and the Euro score was uh, 4.32. Three and uh, we decided uh, to go for uh, a TAVI uh, replacement. Um, uh, when uh, uh, you uh, have uh, the um, uh, when uh, you you find uh, about this uh, free uh, freedom solo, uh, which was a thirty-three millimeters uh, valve. Uh, you have in uh, your mind that you could uh, use all these uh, valves and we decided to go with a portico, actually a Navitor 25 watts, uh, uh, what it was available in, uh, in our hospital uh, at uh, that case. Um, we have uh, the, um, uh, from, from the CT scan, uh, you could see uh, how it uh, was uh, uh, and uh, it, uh, the, there was any sign of uh, uh, calcium. Uh, and uh, again, if you measured uh, the valve, uh, the valve, uh, it's the 25 that you could uh, decide to use for the lady. This is uh, again uh, from the CT scan. Uh, and uh, uh, another. Uh, um, uh, another uh, scan with uh, about the um, um, coronaries, which we didn't have any problem for that. Uh, this is the valve, and uh, the main problem with uh, that is if you didn't know that uh, she had the operation, uh, you couldn't identify the valve, and you could didn't have any uh, sign of. Uh, uh, to, to, to go uh, by, the by the procedure of uh, the TAVI. Um, and this is not what we found, but generally with this kind of a valve, there, there are no signs uh, to use uh, when you are trying to, to do the replacement. So uh, this is uh, from the operation. There was uh, a, about 50 millimeters peak uh, uh, gradient for the valve. Uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, before the uh, uh, before the um, uh, insertion of the valve, and uh, sorry. And this is uh, when we uh, try to have the valve uh, in place. Um, uh, the the main problem with that is that you should go. Uh, quite uh, 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 inside uh, uh, in order not to because you don't know where exactly is uh, the previous valve as you can see uh, and it's what we tried 
to do. Uh, but, uh, but by the end of the procedure, we had again uh, about 20 millimeters of uh, gradient. And uh, then uh, that's where it started the interesting of the case. We should uh, be sure uh, if the valve it was in the st uh, standard place and, uh, or it, uh, and um, it was safe to use uh, um, a balloon uh, uh, to expand that. And uh, uh, what we tried was, first of all, have uh, um, at the same time uh, uh, LV angiogram with uh, aortic angiogram and we saw that it was okay and uh, what you can see because we had a technical problem uh, for the presentation it is uh, we did uh, immediately uh, a TOE and uh, the, the images they were fine and they it, it was what we used to uh, give us the confidence to proceed with uh, a balloon and we did uh, the balloon uh, and uh, uh, this is the balloon, uh, and um, uh, uh, although the, uh, the image is not convincing that it was uh, solved the problem, the problem was, uh, sorry, uh, was solved because uh, there was no uh, any uh, gradient after the uh, ballooning that we did. So uh, that's the end of, of the presentation. What's, uh, uh, why we, we saw that and we think that it's interesting, uh, uh, it's not easy to find uh, this kind of uh, valves uh, in, every, in, in every day. And uh, uh, it's that uh, you should plan uh, very well the implantation and that to be uh, uh, and to have at the site of uh, the TAVI procedure, uh, the TOE to be acceptable, uh, accessible uh, uh, to assess uh, the implantation if it is needed. That's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Zayi. Uh, do you have any comments? Okay. Any comments from the panel or the... The yes, uh, congratulations sir. for the very nice uh, case. This is uh, uh, indeed very rare case to find the stainless valve, which is the generated and uh, put a new valve, which make is, uh, makes it a complex case. Um, regarding your strategy, first question, how do you choose a 25 versus a, a 27 valve? First question. Second, what was the pre-dilatation balloon that you used and what was the post-dilatation? Uh, I mean, as a sizing. Uh, uh, we did, uh, uh, we did uh, do uh, pre-dilatation. We just went uh, uh, with uh, uh, um, immediate uh, procedure with uh, the valve and uh, uh, the post-dilatation, it, it was with uh, a 23 balloon uh, with uh, some extra uh, contract in, uh, contrast in uh, the site. And uh, this came uh, uh, according to the measurements we had uh, from the CT scan, which gave us uh, the, um, the, the diameters that we could uh, use. And the results seems to be quite good from uh, what we had. And the lady is very well uh, at the moment as well. In any case, it is difficult to put a valve without landmarks. There are not. Yeah, that's it. You were blind, and uh, also it was uh, strange. To, in a 58 years old woman, at the initial surgery, to put a biological, bioprosthetic valve, and he had also chronic kidney disease. Maybe a mechanical valve was better at the in yes. as initial strategy, uh, but also uh, in this situation, I prefer to put a supra annular valve. Uh, the gradient will be lower, 
and maybe a bigger valve, but your result was perfect, and uh, we have to congratulate for that. Any other comments? Otherwise, thank you.